<laughs> What's up, everybody? This is that brown bat back once again for another modding tutorial, mod messing tutorial. And today we're going to make Princess Leia NPC. And it's in the last episode, uh, I had mentioned that. And uh, I had said also that she's going to be a little bit different. So typically what you want to do is make sure that the Marvel Battlegrounds character that you're going to use the uh, actions for or the, the behavior map for is similar in construction to the fighting style of the character you want to use. So in this case, you want to use Princess Leia. And she has your basic attacks and she also has a gun now she's doing uh, single shots here because I don't have that upgraded I didn't never purchase that upgrade but if you go to the skill tree you'll notice that on the range attack upgrade you have something called blaster bounce which uh, requires you once you purchase it, it 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 will no longer fire off single shots you'll hold the you'll hold your right shoulder button and you'll charge it so it'll be a charged shot so that's pretty much the idea of the final build so you need somebody that has a charged weapon shot in order for that to read in the the i pretty much i think it's the dnex file so we're not going through the entire DNX file and finding which particular line of code does what, then we're going to just figure out which Marvel characters have charged shots and Black Widow's not going to work. She doesn't have a charged shot, but besides her Marvel Battlegrounds um, version, the Marvel Battlegrounds version of Black Widow does not use her pistols. She uses the uh, the lightning wrist thing, which is funny because you can get a character to shoot lightning. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but it does. Um, I, uh, Captain America doesn't have a gun. He does have a charge attack, but it's a throw item. Um, it, Falcon might work. I didn't try Falcon. Uh, Hawkeye might work uh, i didn't try hawkeye who i did try was gamora uh it doesn't break the game or anything it's it's just a very rare occurrence where princess leia will will try to shoot you as an npc and characters with guns need to use guns i mean that's just the way it is guns are guns anybody that i've tried with rockets uh battleground information aside from himself doesn't work at all it's it's just a, it's a hot mess so i am going to go back to uh my assets folder all right open up your assets folder and i'm going to go to characters and i'm going to need the um what i say iron man we're going to use iron man and so i'm going to say Z to go to the end of the folders and then AVG underscore Iron Man, but not regular Iron Man. We need Iron Man Marvel Battlegrounds MBA underscore NPC. So again, it's not decrypted. So we need to copy that. We need to open our on Lewis C, which we put in that DAI, D, DI tools folder. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to open up my command prompt. Okay. And I'm going to switch the command prompt to this folder. So I'm going to copy my address there. I type in CD space paste enter. There we go. I'm going to open up the code folder and copy the entire name of the Iron Man MBA NPC DNX. I'm going to replace that, the word blank. And then copy that entire line there. And there we have our ZZZ file. If you're like, what, what, what are you doing? Go back, watch part one. 
of this series. All right. So I'm going to copy the entire name of that again, delete it because I no longer need it. There we go. Check it. Good. I'm going to cut, paste it in the DNX backups, copy it, and then override the file in the character in the character folder. I'm going to open it. Actually, I'm going to close it. I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to rename it. Custom underscore E-M-P-L-E-I-A. All right. So see what I'm doing? All my customs are going to be in, in the same in the same area. Okay. Now, if I open custom SPD, I, uh, MP, bleh. if I open custom MP Leia, it's going to have all Iron Man stuff. So we don't want that. We want to replace certain line items with Leia's stuff. So we need the Empire Leia file. So we're, let's look for her DNAX, E-M-P underscore L in the Leia DNAX. Again, we need to decrypt it. So copy it, bring it over to the unlowest C file or folder and take all the name or copy the entire name, control Z in the code, replace blank, copy the line, paste in command prompt, enter. Now we have our new file called ZZZ, copy the entire name, delete it, replace the ZZZ name with that. And that's the Leia file. I'm going to put that in the DNX backup folder and copy it, paste it in the character file. There we go. Now I'm going to open that up, put that on the left side and get the custom one and put that on the right. That's just how I roll. And we're just going to go through here and search for the instances of Leia. We're not going to use every instance because it doesn't all matter because some of it is only uh, useful for the player swaps, and we're not going to play it. We're not swapping the player. We're making a new M NPC. All right, so actor tag. It doesn't matter, the actor tag. I just did it anyway. Control-F, override file. You're not going to replace the override file because you're going to leave that as Iron Man MBA. Icon name, you can if you want, it doesn't matter. But maybe we'll do it anyway. Icon name. Go back to the other one. Next one's clear to item, which is not a common entry. It has to do with Leia's blaster. Skip it. Next one has to do with her costume. We're going to skip that because the NPC is not going to change the costume. So it's not necessary. All right, next one's the DNX piece file. So we're going to copy what's in quotations underneath that, and then we're going to search for just piece file. All right, we're going to override what's in quotation marks. All right. Next instance is the model name. Not to be confused with the model name instances of the of the alternate costume because we're not even touching that. Iron Man does have an alternate costume, of course. You know that Mark 42. But again, we're not touching any of that. So copy what's in the quotation marks. So ultimately the this particular version of the Leia. NPC is going to have Iron Man information in it for the costume. But again, we're not worrying about that because the NPC doesn't click start and change the costume in the midst of battle. All right. What other instances of Leia? Actor type mask. So back to the custom one, control F, uh, actor type mask. We're going to put what's in quotation marks and it would, this one's actually AV Leia instead of Iron Man. All right, go back to the other one. Oh, it's right under it. Dialogue. So she will speak. All right. And you're going to replace that with capital L-E-A for Leia. 
hierarchy is doo -doo 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 -doo. hierarchy is going to be default avatar it's the same but everything after that actually you know what you can just replace everything that's in quotation marks there like that load audio is EMP Leia so we're gonna replace all the load audio with Leia stuff there's three instances on the Marvel Battlegrounds okay We'll get to the bells and whistles, like the, the kinematic state, shields, and the health uh, later on. So let's search for another instance of Leia, the file name. So that's under progression. So I'm going to type in progression or progress and get the file name. And that file name is, uh, that's where it's going to pull the abilities from the IN3 EMP Leia, which is, I believe it's in data, uh, GameDB core. All right, let's go back over here. Find the next one that's under I. We don't have an I for Iron Man, so type in, or control F and type in uh, skin swapper. And copy from skin swapper all the way down to slow-mo kill data. That is using the same name convention, so you don't have to worry about uh, not reordering numbers. So it's good. So replace, control V. And go back to the the original, the character one, and type in Leia again. Camera name, it's not gonna matter. So we're gonna skip all the camera stuff. And tool set manager's the next one. So you're gonna copy from tool set or replace uh, from the lines tool set all the way to two dimension mode and give it Leia's stuff instead of Iron Man's stuff. So copy that from Leia and paste it on the custom Leia. And that should be it. No more instances of Leia. Okay. Now we need to close this and we're gonna set up the health and shields and all that. And so I'm going to go to custom and play a, nope, SPD Iron Fist. Also, we're gonna look for TARDIS on the custom one because we need to get rid of that entry. Okay, remember how we got rid of that. TARDIS respawn all the way down to that line right there, that L1 underscore one to, you know, this one right here, because basically it's, you're going to have one, the one that's going to remain is the one above TARDIS respawn. So that way when the NPC goes away, it's gone. All right. And look for in it, I N I T and it's owner's team. You're going to say true, spell it right. Okay. Now look for health. Should be the third instance, correct. And health all the way down to hit effects. All right, go to the Iron Fist one. And same thing, health, one, two, three. And we're gonna replace all that and then tweak it as we see fit. Cause that gives us the extra lines so we're gonna have the hit bar, we're gonna see that. Health, Leia, she's a premium character, so 1,000, unless you wanna say she's a woman, she's weaker, so put nine, nine, 900 or something, whatever. Regeneration, uh, I like to give all characters at least a fighting chance. So I'm gonna put one, especially if she has the force two, right? You know, even though she didn't know it until later on in life um she was force sensitive and that's just going to give her an edge and that's one of the ways i can uh depict showing an edge right all right uh shields we're not going to have that there so let's go to the custom iron fist one 
and we're going to look for, since there's no shield entry from the Iron Man one, we're going to look for, uh, let's look for y'all return. Why? Oh, don't do that. Control F. Y A W return. And that's not the same line, so that's that's a bad example. Control F. Type in swapper. There's the y'all return that we need. Make sure it has the same uh, prefix, the L31, and it does. So this way, we're going to be able to go up to the y'all return all the way down to the skin swapper and add in the shields. And of course, she doesn't have any shields. <laughs> but anyway, it's good practice. And what was the other one? Kinematic state. K-I-N-E-M. And it was from kinematic state all the way down to... What did I pick before? Oh, the L131. There we go. Right there. All right. I think that's it. Okay. Now we have to give her some attacks. So I'm going to close the Iron Fist one. I think we're all good. We need to open up. I'm going to open up a separate uh, assets folder because this time we're going into the game DB core. And this time toy box. Um actually the battle arena data map and let's find the uh information for iron man so i'm going to do a control f and i'm going to type in let's see quotation avg underscore iron man mba underscore npc i think that's the name yes it is so all the information down there we're pretty much doing the same thing that we did for iron fist in the last episode going all the way down and copying all of his entry in here. And you're going to see it's right before uh, Thor MBA NBC. So he's the next one in line. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to close it. So I don't have too many things open and going back to the DI tools. And remember we had that folder called modded character script. I'm going to make a new uh, text document and I'm going to, Entitle it Iron Man MBA NPC. And this is good because we'll be able to do that when we actually put Iron Man in. And I shouldn't have to show you that because it's going to be the same thing as what we did with Iron Fist. So I'm not going to do every character. It's it's like a hundred different episodes and people will be like, you already did it. You already did it. Same thing. Same thing. You know, so I'm not going to repeat myself uh, with duplicate videos and then this would be the year of mod messing right instead of the year of Coruscant <laughs> all right so I'm just going to paste all that in there and I'm going to close it we'll open it back up when we're ready and go back to the core and toy we want toy box actors and we're going to do control f and we're going to look for blockhead parentheses L-E-I-A for Leia and we're going to replace the uh, oops the townsperson dnex directory with the custom Leia and that is I find the character folder custom EMP Leia dot dnex including the dnex extension and find the right folder actors and I'm gonna just hit control V and replace override whatever override that information just like that see old new old new all right control s now if we load it up we're gonna have a layer running around but we're not going to have any uh, specific uh, motions because the behavior is not going to be in there so she'll just be running into us and throwing us probably. She might shoot. Well, you know what? 
let's let's check it thus far and see how we fare. Now she's see she's right there. I didn't get rid of the pickup. Now when they when a ranged character stops like that, they're they're trying to process whether or not they're going to fire. Oh, what? Did she just take a swing at me? Like a real? What? What? All right, well, she doesn't have all our moves. You can see that. So she has her basic kicks. Some people ain't got... Some some characters don't have anything. I'm surprised she, she, that she has that. Your worshipfulness. But if I, she's not going to shoot me, and that's the whole thing. But I'm going to show you how to finish it off, and then I'm going to. Yeah, because this is surprising that she actually has. As much as she does. Because remember Iron Fist was just sliding into me when I, before I changed his uh, behavior file. Remember that? I remember it. Just like it was yesterday. Because it was. <laughs> yeah, so she's not even going to fire. Uh, anyway, so let's go to uh, Core Toy Box Data Map. And actually, we don't need that yet. CLO. Yes, we do. All right. So we're going to, once the toy box data maps open, control F and type in quotations in between the quotations, EMP underscore L E I A. All right. We need all of this for Leia, all of her code in here. And hers is right above the Lone Ranger soldier. So I'm going to copy all that. Okay. That's all Leia's stuff. I'm going to minimize that and go back to my modded character script. And I'm going to say new text document custom Leia. Open that and paste her player character info. Save it. And then I'm going to open the Iron Man NBA NPC. And I'm going to replace. Now, look at this. It's in a different, uh, it's in a different uh, organization. So we're going to do things a little bit different, but not 100% different. Okay. So what you need are the behavior files. That right there. So in this instance, everything else is going to stay, leave alone, leave it alone only the behavior map files and you can enter the behavior map files at the end or at the beginning. Now, if you enter them at the end, you're going to have less to rename and we're going to go starting from 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 3, 3, 40, 4, Four. And it ended up working out just nicely. 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2. All right. So the next thing is make sure that this under here goes to 40. Do we have 40 up here? 40, 40, 40, 40? No. Um, over on the other side, we do. Uh, but it's not. They're not L5. So you don't want to do that. But remember, we... Uh, have a custom iron fist and look at that. He goes to 40. So I'm just going to copy the L five list all the way down to L 40 from iron man's or iron fist and replace all of those for the custom Leia right there. All right. Oh, it's supposed to go to 42. All right. Well, I closed the iron fist one. Let's get two more, 41 and 42. Remember, we're going on the right side 
Uh, that's the number convention that I'm looking for. The right side has to match the left side up here. It's one of those things. Why? I don't know why. Just do it. All right. So now up here, let's look to see if anything needs to be added up here. Let's see, avatar BTX auto include. We don't need that because we have the specific Empire Leia a, a, uh, avatar BTX include. So I'm not worried about that. And it ends up same. So I'm a, that's that's it. All we needed was those uh, behavior trees. All right, control A, control C. I want to save that as well. All right, and I'm going to close the Iron Man one. I'm going to close custom layer. I have that in my copy palette. And so I'm going to the data map, go home, control F. And what now we're going to look for is blockhead parentheses layer. Okay. And we're going to replace the blockhead information. It's going to go all the way down there, right above or where it stops is right above the uh, Tangled Guard melee. But don't replace Blockhead Leia. Keep that in mind. I, I forgot to warn you, don't do that because we didn't copy the title of the character, just the information. Paste. So I'm going to hit a Control Z. There's the original. Control Z again. All right, there's the modded data. I'm going to hit Control S for save. And now let's load it and Again, she's not following because they only follow like that when you enter them in fresh, unless they're broken. And she's not broken. She's following now. Now, if I jump in here, now she's aiming her gun, but she might not fire it. Yeah, so she, that's the thing. She's not firing it. Now, if you remember, I skipped over a line of code, and that line of code maybe would work, but again, because of the numbering conventions, I'm not sure exactly uh, at this point, you know, what to do with it, how to fit it in there, and that's not a problem because I know Ronin works. Now, if you mess around for like an hour with this, you'll find that she eventually will fire off a shot. But again, we want to we want her to fire more frequently, so she's not firing with with Iron Man. That's okay. So, as if this video isn't going to be long enough, but I just wanted to show you this because you might be experimenting, and maybe you are not going to take my word for it. And I just wanted to show you that in, in case you ever get into a situation like that and you say, oh, it doesn't work. It does. You just have to have the right entry. And again, I don't know what the specific entry in the DNX file is going to be. It's somewhere. Somebody has it. But nevertheless, I want to close the DNX file. Well, I'm going to start this over again, right? Uh, with Ronan instead of Iron Man. So... I had the toy box data map open. So I'm going to hit control Z on that. So it's going to revert back to the blockhead information. I'm going to leave the toy box actors alone. What I'm going to do is go to the characters. All right. And I'm going to just for reference purposes, I'm going to say the custom M Leia. I'm going to say parentheses, uh, Iron Man. So I know that that is uh, the one that doesn't work it works but not according to my liking because I want her to charge up her blaster so I am going to now look for GOG Ronin and GOG stands for Guardians of Galaxy all right we need to decrypt that so copy that Go to your unlewis C folder, paste it in there. 
copy the entire name, go to the code folder, hit control Z, undo, replace the blank, copy that, go to your command prompt, paste that name in there, and now you have the new file. So copy the full name of the Ronin DNX, replace the ZZZ, put it in the DNX backups, copy it, and replace the character file. All right, now I did all that for no reason because I don't need that. <laughs> later on, maybe I will. Definitely, I'll, I will need that later on, but I didn't want that one. I want the Ronin uh, Marvel Battlegrounds NPC DNX. So I'm going to do the same thing that I just did with the wrong file, with the right file this time. Now that we got the right one, I'm going to copy it and rename it custom underscore EMP underscore L E A L E I A for Leia. All right. So now this is going to be the one we're going to do the same thing. This is going to be the one that works and we're going to do the same thing that we just did. And I need EMP underscore Leia. And I'll put that again over on the left side and I'll have the custom one on the right. So player, instead of Ronin, we're gonna say L-E-I-A. And all right, so we're gonna control F on the Leia again, L-E-I-A, enter, enter, override, leave alone. Icon name, we can change that. Just what's in quotations back here, Leia, clear. I'm curious, does Ronan have cleared item? Nope, so I don't know. We don't want that, we don't want that. DNA file, that's the costume, skip it, skip it, skip it, and skip it, skip it. The next one should be the, yep, Dynex piece file. So on the custom one, type in piece file and we're going to replace what's in quotation marks. Go to the other one again, type in Leia again, and the next one is the model name. Copy what's in quotations, go over to the custom one, type in model name, replace what's in quotations, go back to the original one. The next one is the type mask, so type in actor type mask all right and it's going to be av leia right under that is dialogue id capital l e a right under that is the hierarchy so copy actually you can copy the whole line but just play it safe what's in quotation marks and then you have the audio it's going to be emp underscore l e i a and then you can just replace those other two Ronin sound names with EMP Leia uh, information. And let's see, what else do we have? Audio name, file name. So go to progression, P-R-O-G-R. Okay, now we need the file name replaced. Oop and type Leia again. Now we have the I. And Ronan has eyes, so we will just replace what's in the quotations. Make sure he does not have a cape. He does not. Some people have capes. All right, back to the uh, original Leia. Camera name, we're gonna skip, skip. And tool set manager. So highlight tool set manager all the way down to two dimension mode, copy that, and on the custom one, type in tool set, and highlight the same one, the same uh, fields that we did over in the other one, and replace. All right, control S, and then we also, you know, we can, let's see, custom, the Leia Iron Man one, we can use as a template 
for some of the other things. Uh, but first, let's go Control F in it to owner's team, turn it to true, uh, search for TARDIS and get rid of that line of code all the way to the L31. All right, now we should be good to look for health. And I'm just gonna copy what I already put in for the first Leia mod. So it's gonna go all the way down to hit FX. All right, and shield. Shield was near Swapper, I think. No! Yes. So I don't know, did Ronan have shield? So he had it, but uh, the Iron Man one didn't have it. It's kind of weird. Anyway, probably not weird because Iron Man has shields in his and his power up ability, so that's probably why he had it. But anyway, um, to skin squa swapper. Error. What was the other thing? Kinematic. Down to the L31. It's right before lightsaber clash. But not including it. All right, I think that's it now. I think we got everything. No, we don't. Let's go back to um, type in carry. If you wanna make it so that you can't carry her. Again, you might wanna leave that in. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go up to her, type in carry. And so she's not listed as a vil uh, villain, even though I, that probably has nothing to do with anything. Um, most of this doesn't have anything to do with anything, but there's a couple things I want to remove. I would say just copy that, but there's a couple things in here that are different, like NBA frame actor. I don't know if that matters, but I'm going to leave that in there. But she's not super strong. So I'm going to delete that line. Make sure you leave that divider in there. I'm going to get rid of Villain. I'm going to get rid of Super Duper Strong. She's not that. And everything else I'm going to leave in there. Now, see where it says Flyer in there? That doesn't make them fly. Just to let you know that. So, anyway, I'm just changing things to get used to it. Uh, tech type. Um, I think she's supposed to be. Is that gonna matter? No, because <laughs> she's an NPC. But if it's something that you wanna get used to uh, going through these, because eventually we'll be doing customized playable characters. So I can put in tech type. Uh, she's also Minox Hunter, I don't care. Um, we don't have Minox in the toy box. So I'm gonna hit a control save here and we should be good to go. Except for the fact is we gotta do the uh, the toy box data map for Ronin. So I'm gonna go home here in the toy box data map, control F, and I'm going to look for, it's not in the toy box data map, what am I thinking? Go back to the core folder and get your battle arena data map and control F and we're going to look for quotations G O G underscore Roan and M B A underscore N P C. There he is and all of his data. And the next one in line after him is Avenger Hulkbuster and we're not going to copy that. So now that's all I needed there. And then go to your modded character scripts, make a new text document, and I'm gonna type in Ronin 
MBA NPC and paste that in there and save. And for the custom layout one, I'm going to put in uh, parentheses Iron Man because that was the first one we did. But I might still be able to use this one. Uh, so I'm just going to copy that. I'm just going to say custom layout. Just all in all, this one's going to get deleted. But for right now, I just want to see, you know, I just want to let you know that uh, they're, they're, this is the second one that we're doing. It's based on Ronin versus the one that's based on Iron Man, but we just copied it. So right now it's the same thing, but we uh, should have an easier time just replacing this stuff with the Ronin stuff. So we want his behaviors. Right? Oh, I missed one. All the behavior lines. And then we're going to replace the behaviors over here. Control V. And then of course we have to go back and rename it. The numbers. 30. 32 and this one pretty much lines up really nice. So the only thing we really have to change is the uh, first line Or the first number I should say And double check five six seven eight nine thirty one two three four five. Uh oh what? 30 one two three. Ah, I have two thirty twos my mistake. If I left it at that, something wouldn't work right. And I'd be like, oh, it's broken. All right. So let me check again. 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 40, 1, 2. All right. So this only needs to go to 42. And it does still. It ha that hasn't changed over here. And the stuff up here was the same as character layers, so we didn't change any of that. So I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna close the Ronin uh, file that we made, and I'm gonna copy all of that. I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna go to the Toybox data map. And if I hit Control Z, since we haven't changed anything, it should go back to Blockhead Leia, and I'm just gonna override the original. I'm not gonna override the stuff for Iron Man. I'm gonna override it in the original state just in case I mess up and I can just go back to that. Um, control V. All right, original. And now we have the Ronin uh, variant now. Now, if we load it, um, she not there. If she's not there, then I messed something up in the DNAX file. All right, instances like this, you know what you do? Because I'm not going to go through and try to find, because I made, there's a lot of changes in here. What am I going to do? I'm going to actually re redo the DNX file because I messed it up somehow and I don't know where it is. I'm missing a space or a line. And this is what we need to understand. We all are going to make mistakes. So how am I going to redo it? I'm just going to go back to characters. I'm going to go GOG underscore Ronin. Get the MBA NPC DNX. No, oh, that's Rocket Raccoon. Where's Ronin? Ronin MBA NPC. Take all that again. I'm going to redo this entire thing. Paste. Save, now it's all Ronin stuff. Get the Leia Iron Man one out. This, this should be the easy way. And just go through everything that I know should have been right. So the Leia Iron Man one, I'm just gonna type in every instance of Leia and then we should find an actor tag. Come on. Icons. DNX piece file. 
See, it's a good thing we saved the Iron Man one, so now I can just go through, because it has the same uh, numbering convention, so it should make it easier. And we know the Iron Man one loaded, so there was nothing wrong in the file names of that one. And it's probably, I probably misspelled something when I was typing instead of copying. That could be. Okay, I redid everything. As you've seen, of course, I didn't dialogue over it because there's no point in it. <laughs> so everything should be working. There she is. So I must have just left out. I mean, unless you're watching it, you might have been able to pinpoint it. Apparently, I didn't. I, I didn't change the. Uh, I didn't change that. I'm gonna have to do that. stretch this out that ain't gonna work let me make it big carryable super strong no villain no super duper strong no all right there she is. Now she should shoot. Sometimes. Yeah, I didn't say she would aim it at me, but. <laughs> You're braver than I thought. They have a tendency to do that. I don't know why. Now, all the time? No, not all the time. They actually do aim sometimes. And it's... See right there? I don't know why they point at the, at the ground. 
but all of the uh, gun firers do that, uh, except the single shot ones like Han. Uh, I, there's a way to uh, do that using a different style of NPC mod, which I'll get to eventually. That's using the uh, White Tiger or Mace Windu team up disc as a base instead of the Marvel Battlegrounds. But it won't work for her because she has a charge and she won't use, she won't, uh, see, if I would have stood still, she would have shot me. See right there? She shoots sometimes. And she hits. All right, I don't want to get too much into, into hitting her because, well, I don't want people to get the wrong idea and think it's okay to hit a galley. It's because this is wrong. But well, I can't pick her up. But anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And next time we're going to mod Luke because we got to do a Jedi uh, because there's specific line items that are going to allow the character to do the lightsaber clash lock as an NPC, and you want that. You really do. So until next time, remember to keep on building, <laughs> keep on modding, keep on messing.